OK, good afternoon. I'm going to speak to you about uh, careers and educational opportunities in culinary arts and food studies. My name is James Murphy. I'm the assistant head of school here at the School of Culinary Arts and Food Technology in TU Dublin. So I'm going to make a presentation to you and we're going to talk about having careers and educational opportunities in this discipline. And they're going to come back uh, to you a little bit later just to sign off and we welcome any further inquiries that you have. And I'm also going to send you down some further resources that will make uh, going to college so much easier, points, uh, accesses and so forth. We'll have a discussion around that. So I'm going to share my screen with you now uh, to give you the presentation and speak to you. See you a little bit later. So I'm going straight into the presentation. OK, so the presentation, as we said, is called uh, Careers and Education Opportunities in Food Studies and Culinary Arts. I suppose the first question that you might ask is, what is food studies and culinary arts? Well, it covers the multidisciplinary field and areas of practice and study in cooking, food and drink studies, food production, food health, which has been very relevant here during lockdown, and the nutrition of the foods that we eat and the hygiene that supports around the foods that we eat, but also encompasses the art and the preparation and presentation of the research and the development behind all the foods and drinks that we consume. What do we call the people who have careers and work in this field? Well, they're called chefs, cooks, bakers, bartenders, mixologists. You might ask the question, what's a mixologist? A mixologist is a specialist cocktail maker who understands the practices, the methods, the new, you know, the uh, equipment, the ingredients, and they're highly sought after by beverage companies and major hotels and restaurants right around the world. Um, sommeliers, equally, these are individuals who have specialist wine studies knowledge. They understand the regions of the world, all the, all the various different wines that can be paired with the food experiences, and they're highly sought after equally by top hotels, restaurants, and food service companies. But also people working in this, in this field are referred to as waiters, food production chefs, food scientists, which is a huge area, and food and beverage managers. And the primary places of work that they work in are bars, delicatessens, major, major large hotels, hospitals. The hospital sector has become a huge um, employer and developer of careers, food and beverage outlets and food production companies. I'm going to speak to you a little bit uh, later about some of the individuals who work in food production companies, just to give you examples. So um, from our students that have gone into this, this sector in this field and have a career, they come back and they report to us about where they've taken their, career, um, their studies and what areas that they're working within the, the wider and broader food and beverage area. So they tell us that some of them have developed their career on consulting and design specialist, specialist in this area in food and beverage. Some of them are restaurant managers. Some of, them, some of them have decided to go down the accounts end and they've become food and beverage controller purely into the accounts end. Some of them have taken a decision that they didn't want to work for anybody else. They want to work for themselves, that they become food entrepreneurs. OK, and um, some have become food and beverage managers and um, some have actually gone into the food stylist and photography area because, as you know, it's this is a big field, blogging and on online social platforms, people writing about food, photographing food and critiquing food. So that's there's a lot of career opportunities within this area. Some of them have gone into the research area and development chefs. So research around food and beverages. Um, about all the various different new products that are out there and developing new foods and new drinks for the island of Ireland and for international companies. Some of them have gone into the purely sales and enterprise area where they were sales driven individuals. They like that area and because they have an understanding of food and beverages, they were able to develop their careers in there. And then finally, but not last, some of our students have gone in to become teachers, lecturers, instructors and culinary teachers in this area um, because they understand food and beverages and they now can teach at this level. OK, so to give you a couple of examples of some of these students, you might ask the question, well, who are they and, and where, what, what sort of careers are they living out and how are they living their dreams? So I'm going to give you a couple of examples here and a couple of graphic illustrations here. This first gentleman on my top left is Mark Moriarty. So Mark works as a chef in the Greenhouse restaurant. Now that's a Michelin star restaurant, right? But he's currently on RTE on the programme called Beyond the Menu. So he has a week to week program um, on RTE at the moment. But Mark is a graduate of our culinary arts program and he took his career in that direction. He won world's best young chef a couple of years back and 
you know, uh, governmental agencies like Board B has started to take notice of, of Mark and the talent he has. Straight over to this lady on the right hand side. This is Roisin Gillen. Roisin is a chef in Liat restaurant in Black Rock, and that's also a Michelin star restaurant. A highly talented young lady. And you can see now industry were presenting her food and drinks, our food and wine awards recently with best young emerging chef. So she's definitely one to watch um, as best young emerging chef. Um, and immediately and over to Joseph. This is Joseph Roach. Joseph works as the product development and demonstration chef for Musgraves Marketplace. So you might ask the question, who are Musgraves Marketplace? How big are they? They're a major wholesale company and they also own um, all the centra stores around Ireland. And as you know, there are about eight to nine hundred of those stores. So Joseph's job by day is to develop all the recipes and the sauces that we, when we go into the supermarkets and the central locations, will purchase. He works with his team. Um, and then finally, one more example. This is Crana. This is Crana Caminero. And she decided that, look, she wanted to work for herself. She didn't want to work for anybody else. So when she finished her baking and pastry arts degree, she opened up her own little shop and beautiful little coffee shop down in Cable Street. And she bakes all, all, all her own breads and, and uh, cakes and so forth. So there are lots and lots of all other examples like Steve McAllister, you, you will know him from on the program called the Restaurant Series, but Stephen came through the college. He's co-owner of two restaurants here in Dublin, but he also works on that TV series. OK, so that's just to give you a flavour of some of the students and where they've taken their careers so far. I suppose the next question could be, well, what does a career in food studies and culinary arts are for me? Well, first of all, you get an opportunity to make people's day. Now, what does that really mean? What that means is when you create beautiful foods, you'll know when you had a, a special meal or a beautiful drink or a lovely cake, it transports you back to that period of when you had it. So, for example, oh, that's like granny's lovely brown bread or that's like the gorgeous meal I had on holidays when I was in Italy or America. And that's the power that food and beverages has. And, it, and it's the power that you can give to people with your with your preparation of foods and cooking and so forth. So it's a very powerful um, uh, thing to have to understand food and beverages and to be able to create them for people. So you get a chance to make their day. It gives you an opportunity to be creative, innovative, and it's also a life skill. So you can take this life skill anywhere in the world and it opens so many doors and careers opportunities for you throughout the world because you have a very unique skill and a unique understanding of food and beverages. And one of the other things that the students often tell us that they love is, um, is the atmosphere, that no two days are the same within the kitchen area and that each day presents a new opportunity um, when you go on duty and that's why they love um, this area of food studies and culinary arts. OK, so I suppose the next question could be, well, what do we offer you as a school? Well, all our programmes are based in um, Cottle Brew Street at the moment and we've been here for the last 80 years. But in the next four months, we're going to move to our new campus. So I'm just flashing with the cores at our new campus. This is Central Quad Building on the Grange Gorman campus. I'm going to show you uh, very quickly. This is a graphic illustration of it. So it's a 65 acre campus, but our building Central's, Central Quad is a 200 million pound development. Pardon me there. And uh, we're going to be moving there in four months time and all our kitchens and so forth are going to be in there. We're going to have nine training kitchens, two baking and pastry kitchens, two training restaurants, a food processing hall, a training bar, 150 seater lecture theatre and 18 food science labs. So that's what we're going to have in the brand new facilities in the next four months. Um, all our programmes have an industry placement, OK, and we do always award our students as annual awards days and scholarships given them on a regular basis. These are some of the food companies, the major food companies in Ireland here and abroad that deal with the college. They give us monies, they give us foods, they give us scholarships that we're able to give straight back to you and competitions to uh, recognise your development within the uh, food studies area. These are some of the major trade associations, the panel of chefs, the licensed vintners association, the Irish Hotel Federation, the Vintners Federation and the Restaurant Association. So these are some of the major trade associations that also sponsor a lot of opportunities for here for us here and our students here in Colbrew Street. So um, I suppose the question that you might ask is, well, are there any placement opportunities? Where do we get to serve out our placement opportunity or a work experience? Where can we go? Well, let me give you a couple of examples of recent students who've gone out 
to undertake their placement. This is uh, Christine Cook. So Christine um, was a baking and pastry arts student, but she wanted to go to the Middle East. So we arranged for her to work in the Ritz Carlton Hotel in Dubai. And she's living out her dream on her placement as a pastry chef in turn in the Ritz in Dubai. So um, that's that's exactly what she wanted. Um, let me come over here to Alice. This is Alice Mann. Alice want to have her placement in the world's best restaurant. So I suppose the obvious question could be, where is the world's best restaurant? For the last two years, the world's best restaurant has been Noma restaurant in Copenhagen. So she got a chance to work on her placement as a chef in turn. Hard work, but what an experience to work in the world's best restaurant. Let me switch to a completely different example. This is Sinead Gallagher. This lady's from Donegal, but she studied with us here in, in, in Dublin. And her passion was seaweed. Now that's the next great superfood. And she wanted to do some research around this whole area and to have her placement um, in this set field. So we got a chance to hook up with Arcadian sea plants who are based in Canada. So she got a chance to see that beautiful part of the world and to have her work placement there. There's so many opportunities that the students decide to take on their placements. And what's really important is that the placement works for the student, the university and the company. So we make sure it's, it's, it's right for you, basically. OK, so let me move on to the programs that we offer. So here in the School of Culinary Arts, we have programs at level six, higher certificate level, all the way up to level nine and level 10, which is postgraduate level. So you're currently studying your leaving certificate at the moment will bring you to level five and the national qualifications of Ireland. OK, so when you finish studying level five, your leaving certificate and you get your points, you'll be able to move into these programs. OK, so you'll pick the level that you want to come on to the ladder at a level eight program or a level six program and work your way up to a level eight or a level seven program. And when you finish studying your undergraduate qualifications, you might decide to take a postgraduate qualification, a master's degree um, or a PhD, but that's further on down your career ladder. So you can come on to your career ladder or you can step off your career ladder at any given time. That's really down to yourself. So we have higher certificate qualifications in and programs in bar and restaurant management, in culinary arts, that's professional cookery, in food management and entrepreneurship, so that's really for managing around food services operations and retail operations, in baking and pastry arts, okay, we have a, a degree in that area, and then we have honours degrees in culinary arts, so that's food studies, artistic food studies at a cooking end at a much higher level. Um, and this is uh, food studies mixed with the business of food also. So you understand food and business, culinary entrepreneurship. And this is food studies mixed with science. So a lot of major food companies are looking for graduates who have science understanding, but they can cook. A lot of opportunities in this regard. OK, so um, again, just to show you a few graphic illustrations of our awards day. So these are all our students throughout the school. OK, we love celebrating their achievements. As you can see, some of the, the you know, just flashing with the cores are, uh, for example, Ryan, when he went to one of the competitions, the World Chef Olympics in India, you can see some of the awards he won. This is Alice and Sinead, and you can see some of the awards they won in Italy at a national competition. This is our current cocktail champion. So we're, we are absolutely delighted to celebrate our students throughout the school, and we do it on a regular basis at our annual awards day. Um, but we also celebrate our students via our newsletters. So we publish these newsletters four times a year and we send them all to all the major food and beverage companies around Ireland and abroad. And we're basically saying, these are fantastic students. You really want these students working for you. Here's the excellent work that they're doing, okay? So we highlight that to all the major companies around Ireland and abroad about your work as a student here in the school. And it gives you more opportunities as well with your career. But we also highlight um, the work that goes on in the school here across all our social media platforms. So on Facebook at TU Dublin Food Forum, on Instagram at TU Dublin Food Forum, on Twitter uh, again at TU Dublin Food Forum. These are our major social media platforms via our website and via our email. So those are the major communication platforms that we, um, we uh, use to communicate with our students. OK, so I want to uh, thank you all for listening to the presentation. Uh, I'm going to switch back to uh, switch back to the main 
presentation area. So again, as I said, my name is James Murphy, Assistant Head. It was a pleasure to speak to you today. Uh, we hope you'll consider our school for one of your programs. We're going to send you some further resources uh, that will make it will simplify uh, a lot of the resources uh, that we offer here in, in TU Dublin the School of Culinary Arts. And we hope you will consider a career in this area. And please feel free to come back to me and we'll, we'll have further presentations in this regard for you. So take care uh, and stay safe. Talk to you soon.